Hi guys, something super cool is happening tonight, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. Tonight is a pink super moon, and the scientific term for tonight's moon is a pink perigee syzygy. Now that's a lot of words. Perigee means that when the moon orbits the Earth, sometimes it's a little further away and sometimes it's a little closer. And when it's in its closest position, it's called perigee. And when it's at its closest position, the moon appears much brighter and we call it a supermoon. This supermoon also happens to be a syzygy moon. A syzygy moon is a night when the moon and the earth and the sun all line up in a straight line. So that's pretty cool too. But why do they call it pink? Well, it's called a pink moon because it is the first moon of spring. And the Native Americans in North America noticed that in spring there were a lot of pink flowers. So the first full moon of spring was called a pink moon. So three cool things. Pink super moon all coming tonight. And this will be our last super moon of 2020. Now for some parts of the country, it's going to be particularly spectacular at moonrise. The moon sometimes appears larger at the horizon due to something we call a moon illusion. And it's not really a magnifying of the moon due to particles in the atmosphere. Scientists have discovered that if you actually measured the moon when it first came up versus when it was a little higher, it's really the same size. What's interesting though is that our perception is that the moon appears much larger when put in contrast with objects on the horizon that are very close. It's an interesting phenomenon. Feel free to Google it with your family for more discussion. Unfortunately for Arizonans, our moonrise tonight is 10 minutes earlier than our sunset. So we are not going to get that spectacular moon horizon. You might be able to still see it though, so go on out and take a look. The moon should rise at 643 and the sun should set at 653. So you might be able to see them both on opposite horizons. It's such nice weather out. The super moon is a great excuse for your family to do a little stargazing at night. After all, we're not gonna get our benchmark stargazing party this year. Some fun activities for your family could be starting a moon journal tonight. Going out and drawing what the moon looks like each night for the next 28 days. Another fun activity would be looking up some cultural stories from your ancestors. What did your ancestors call the moon? Did they have stories about the man in the moon or the shadows on the moon? Looking at the moon with a telescope is a great way to observe its craters and valleys and other lunar features. If your family doesn't have a telescope, binoculars work just fine. Finally, one of my favorite activities is to go out with my Google Sky Map for Android. It's a great app and lets you look at all of the constellations and shows you where all the planets are in the nighttime sky. They do Skywalk and Night Sky for iPhones. So if you're an iPhone user, you might try those out. Check out the constellations. Read some of the stories that different cultures have written about the constellations. Maybe you could write a story of your own. Kids, if you do any of these projects, I'd love to see your results. Email them to me and I'll share them. Bye guys, happy stargazing.